What's going on guys? My name is Adam, I am a super swan, and welcome to episode 10 of the FM19 Liverpool Big to Save. Only one game you missed out on, it was a nil-nil draw against Watford. Nothing spectacular happened, but we did pick up a point away from home. And looking at the league with four games to go, we are six points clear of Manchester United. If Man City win their game in hand, we'll be three points clear of them. So we are still in the driving seat when it comes to the league. But the first game today is the Juventus game at home in the Champions League where we take a 1-1 draw with a last minute Daniel Sturridge goal and we are, well, we have the chance to do the job at home and get to the Champions League semi-finals. So this is going to be the lineup for that game against Juventus at home. It's as full strength as I can possibly get. Alisson in goal, Trent van Dijk, Varane, Robertson at the back. Fabinho, Keita and Thiago in the midfield. Shakiri on the right as Salah is only just coming back to fitness. He is still injured so he's not going to be fit enough to make the team. Mane on the left and Bobby Firmino up front. I was thinking about playing Sturridge but I did play him in the league game against Watford. It didn't do much if I'm honest with you. But a very similar looking lineup for Juventus as in the last game. So they've got all their threats still in the team. I'm going to give a passionate. Let's have a look. Let's give the fans something to cheer for today. Nobody really pays attention. But it's the, I think there's more to come for me that gets them going anyway. They should know that's the team talk I'm going to give. But we do take an away goal into this game. If it stays nil-nil, we will go through on away goals. So we want to try and avoid Juventus scoring a goal. Because that will pretty much neutralise our advantage that we have. But it's Juventus that have had the shots. We've had the possession. But Fabinho wins the ball back. Naby Keita's got some space to run into. Is he going to try and find someone? He has a shot on his own! And Chesney with the save. If we can get an early goal. Trent with a free kick. Has a shot. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. I thought that was heading in. I thought that was heading in. But I shout to get creative to the team. We're starting to get the shots in now. Mane's picked up a knock. But he should hopefully be okay. But Fabinho to Thiago. Long ball to Shakiri, who controls it well. Cuts inside. Is he going to have a shot? He does, but it's wide of the goal. We're looking well. We're looking threatening. Mane's on 70%. I'm keeping an eye on him. We may have to sub him off at half time. I'm going to demand more from the team. As it's just not good enough at the moment. But yeah, Mane has picked up a knock. So we are going to sub him off at half time. But it's a corner to Juventus. Whips it in, heads it down to Mandzukic, has a shot on his own, Robertson off the line. But Diabala's going to recycle it, it's not over yet. Douglas Costa, oh but Thiago is going to get there and intercept. So Robertson off the line, looks to have saved us just before half time. And we are waiting for the half time whistle, there's going to be three minutes of added time in the first half. But the highlight's not over yet. Shakiri finds Bobby Firmino. Naby Keita, edge of the area, in the box, has a shot. And it grazes the top of the bar. And it's been all us at the moment. Diabala, the free kick on the outside of the post. They haven't had a shot on target as of yet. But we are going to go to half time, nil nil, which is a result that suits us. It does not suit Juventus. I'm going to give an assertive. I'm going to give an assertive guard against complacency. Don't think the job's done yet. And we are going to sub Mane off as he has picked up a knock. We're going to bring on James Milne on the left-hand side. He's only one and a half star. But he makes the difference on that left-hand side. I'm not sure what it is. It's just a James Milner effect. And he's going to come on on the left-hand side. We might have to bring Sturridge on because Bobby Firmino's on 6.4. We're going to have to bring on Sturridge to make the difference. I'm going to shout out to show some passion. To try and get the boys going. Because one Juventus goal changes the game. 
6.5 Bobby Firmino coming back into the game a little bit. But Shakiri the free kick whips it in. Fabinho with the header! And it's in the goal! And Fabinho gets the goal! And that is a huge goal. Because we are now 2-1 up in the tie. If Juventus do grab an equaliser though, it will go to extra time. Because, the, you know, 1-1 one, one, both sides kind of cancel each other out. But we take the advantage and Fabinho does grab the goal. I am going to bring on Daniel Sturridge after this highlight. But Ronaldo with a header, it's over the bar. Let's get the super sub Daniel Sturridge on. We'll make him the advance forward just like we did in the first leg. Anybody else looking a bit tired? No, we'll leave it like that for now. Can the James Milner, Daniel Sturridge team partner up once again? And grab us a second goal. That will seal us a place in the Champions League semi-finals. But Douglas Costa runs at us. Finds Mandzukic there. It's off the top of the crossbar. That was very unlucky from Juventus. If they do grab a goal, it will go to extra time. So long as it stays 1-1 on the night. But I'm going to shout to encourage. They're a bit frustrated. Oh boy, you've got to get the job done. 83 minutes in. I'm going to make one last sub. Who have I got? I'm going to leave Shakiri on. Milner's on 6.5. We're going to bring Robertson off for Moreno. As he is looking a bit tired out there. Sandra whips it in though. And Van Dijk clears it away. It's another corner. Juventus still have not had a shot on target. And that fills me with a bit of nerves if I'm honest with you. So we've made all our subs. We've got, oh, we've got four minutes to hang on. Can we hang on for a 1-0 win? 15 seconds to go. Just don't do anything stupid, boys, and we will be in the semi-finals. Shakiri finds Nabi Keita. We are five seconds to go, and we are in the Champions League semi-finals. Moreno wins the ball. Come on, boys. Full referee. Blow the whistle. We are well into injury time. There it is. We grab a 1-0 win at home against Juventus. And Liverpool are through to the Champions League semi-finals. I'm going to say it was a good win against a team that are top of Serie A. And we are through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. Mane's out for three days. That's fine. We get some money in. And Fabinho shines as Liverpool win. So we are in the Champions League semi-finals. Are we going to have a Champions League semi-final draw? Is the question. When's that coming up? Let's have a look. We have it in two days' time. So we are going to do that before the Fulham game today. So we're going to see you guys for the semi-final draw. I pressed continue too many times. But we have Atletico Madrid in the Champions League semi-final draw. Can we have a look at the draw? There we go. So it's going to be Atletico Madrid against Liverpool. And Barcelona against Bayern Munich. So there's, there was going to be an easy draw here. But we do pull Atletico Madrid in the Champions League semi-final. And those games are going to be coming up in May. So we've got two games there in Madrid um, in between the Newcastle and the Bournemouth game. But we are going to come back for Fulham in the league. And we could have a Premier League and a Champions League winning season. Line up for 19th place Fulham. And we've got two players in the first team that have been out for a long time. We've got Alisson in goal, Klein, Varane, Gomez and Moreno at the back. Henderson, Wijnaldum and Oxlade Chamberlain makes his first start of the season. He's been out for months and months, but he's going to be in that rowing playmaker role. Shakiri on the right, Lalana's coming on the left-hand side, another player who's been out for a fairly long period, and Bobby Firmino is going to lead the line as the deep lying forward. So two players to keep an eye on today, Ox and Lalana. They are in 19th place, so we should be, you know, we should be getting a win here. I'm going to say leave us in no doubt as to why. And then we'll give them the usual. I have faith in you. Go out there and make a difference. And yeah, the league table hasn't come up once again. So we'll get that up there. So if we can get a win against 19th place Fulham. 
then per- the league is ours to lose, I would imagine, because there's only going to be three games left to go. Man City going to keep up with us. Shakiri's pulled up with a tight calf, but we're going to keep an eye on his fitness. But Sessegnon for Fulham. To Sheila. Oh, Mitrovic is through one-on-one. What a tackle that was by Joe Gomez. What a tackle. Because he was one-on-one. He was one-on-one. Wijnaldum clears. Sheila outside the box. Fosu Mensa. We're closing him down. Henderson with a tackle. Oh, that is a free kick. Don't go in so rash. But Seri whips it in for Fulham. Heads it across, but Alisson with the save. Wasn't causing any problems. It's been all Fulham highlights, though, which concerns me. But Fulham give the ball away. Ox, he is tackled, but Lallana's going to hopefully jump on him. Uh, not as successful as I hoped he was going to be. But Klein to Shakiri. Klein on the ball. He's got some space to run into. He whips it in. Who's there? Nobody. But Henderson outside the box. The highlight is not over yet. Oxley chamberlain First start of the season. Finds Klein. Whips it in. That is a penalty. And um, Bobby Firmino is going to step up from the spot. Had a very indifferent season. He's hot and cold, Bobby Firmino. But can he put us 1-0 up? He can. It is in the top corner. And Bobby Firmino with his 16th goal of the season has put Liverpool 1-0 up against Fulham. It took a penalty to get us there, but they all count. And we are 1-0 up against Fulham. And I, I, I can say, it's, us, it's ours to lose. If we can win today, there'll be three league games left to go. And it'll be our league to lose. And we do have a Champions League semi-final against Atletico Madrid to think about as well. So we're coming up to half-time. I'm going to leave it for now. We're going to leave the tactics. We're probably going to sub Shakiri off. Because he does look a little bit tired out there. I'm going to encourage the team. I'm going to tell them I have faith in them. Because, you know, just put your arm around them. I got, I got faith in you, boys. You can do it. So we're going to bring off Shakiri. Uh, James Milner is the only one that can play there. Do they do any better the other way around? Not really. Who's Who can play there? Ox can play there. There we are. We'll move Ox to inside forward. We'll swap them two round. There we go. So Ox is going to come in on the right-hand side. Cut in here to help out Bobby Firmino. Alana on the wing. Wijnaldum drops. Well, he's always there. Milner's going to be the one to drop to the advanced playmaker role. I'm going to start the second half and hopefully build on that goal that we got in the first half and make sure we do grab a second goal because if Fulham score an equaliser anything can happen but Shearer on the ball Henderson with a tackle it's going to start hopefully the counter attack Joe Gomez is going to boot it no he finds James Milner still passed it between the back does make its way over to midfield Milner finds Ox on that right hand side what's he going to do Cuts inside, back to Henderson. We're keeping the ball. Nice ball over to Lallana on the left-hand side. Is he going to whip it in? He does. Who's there? Finds Ox. And Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain grabs the goal on his first start back from injury. Get in there, Ox. Get in there, son. The man we've just moved out to the right-hand side. His first start of the year. He hasn't featured at all in this beta save because he's been out injured. And he is the one that grabs the second goal. And we are 2 0 up against Fulham. I'm going to praise the team just to tell them how well they're doing. They're fired up. Ox is going to whip one in. Hangs Henderson. It's 3 0. Ox finds Henderson. And we are 3 0 up at Anfield. And the way things stand, we are six points clear of City. And they do have the game in hand. So it's pretty much back the way we were, really. Because we just got to keep on winning our games. And we will win the league. It's in our hands with three games to go. So we're going to make some sub 62 minutes in. Make sure we keep everybody fresh. So I'm going to bring off... Well, we'll bring off... 
We'll bring on Firmino for Sturridge. Make him the advanced forward, because he likes playing advanced forward. We'll keep it like that for now. We'll mix it up a little bit. We'll confuse them. They'll think we're playing deep lion, but really, he's going to be pushing up a bit more advanced. They're not going to know what hit them. Although we are 3-0 up at this point. So, unless we concede three late goals, I think we're going to be pretty alright. We'll make one last sub. Who's looking a bit tired out there? We'll bring Henderson off for Fabinho, just in case he gets sent off. Because he has been on a yellow card for a while. And we should see the game out for a 3-0 win against Fulham. I mean, okay, they're in 19th place. But we can only beat the teams that's in front of us. You know, they, they, they're as much as this league as we are. But it is a corner, and that is the game. We're not even going to have the corner. But we do take a 3-0 lead, and we take the three points. I'm going to say it was a calm, very happy with the way you played. The guys are happy. We've qualified for the Champions League for next season. We've got £83 million to spend next year, although we're not going to be able to spend it. And Ox is grateful for me sticking by him due to his injury. Ox... You know what, mate? You deserved it. Okay, your stats have gone down a little bit because of your injury. But don't you worry. You've scored a very important goal for us in our quest for the league. We look at the league table and there's the confirmation. We are top of the league with three games to go. Man City do have their game in hand and if they win that, they will be three points behind us. So it's not wrapped up yet. But if we get positive results in our last three games of the season we will become Premier League champions. As far as next time goes, I, well, I plan for this series to be 10 episodes, but we've done so well in the Champions League, we're going to have to extend it another few days. So you are going to get an episode tomorrow, guys, on a Saturday, and we are going to go through the Champions League games against Atletico Madrid. So we're going to skip over the Newcastle game, we're going to come back for the home leg against Atletico Madrid. We won't play the Bournemouth game next time, We'll come back for the second leg. So tomorrow's episode is purely a Champions League semi-final episode. So pure Champions League next time, no Premier League games. So you'll miss out on the Newcastle game. We'll play the first leg next time. We'll skip over the Bournemouth game. And we'll also see the away leg next time as well. So by this time tomorrow, you will know if we've qualified for a Champions League final. Leave a like if you enjoyed, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2019 content. We will be uploading this series every day until the season's over. So I guess we're going to have a Champions League semi-final episode for tomorrow. Wrap up the league on Sunday. And if we are in a Champions League final, we'll be showing that off on Monday. So the series will end either Sunday or Monday, depending on how well we get on against Atletico Madrid. So we've got at least two episodes to go. Three if we make the Champions League final. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.